So, what are we looking for out here? Well, the map shows all these structures around the volcano. Some abandoned outposts, a handful of watchtowers. Watchtowers? Avery was the most wanted man in the world. So if he was hiding something out here, it makes sense he'd need lookouts. One of those towers is right on the volcano. With Avery's treasure. Fingers crossed. I see some ruins up ahead. Wait here. I'll go take a look. Oh, Victor. You still do a lot of traveling these days? Yeah, I try. I tend to pick jobs that get me away from the computer. <laughs> yeah, I was telling Nathan, it's shocking how much of the business has moved to the internet. I mean, I bet you have all sorts of options that you're at a hard time right now. Yeah, sure, but I prefer talking to clients face to face. Get a good read on Hard to do that in a chat room talking to some guy named Antiquity Master 37. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. <coughs> Huh. Not much to see here. Well, ah, nothing worthwhile. Come on, let's keep going. <laughs> hey, so with our luck, what are the odds this volcano is going to erupt on us? Zero. It's extinct. Trust me, that's the first thing I looked up when we said we were heading for a volcano. That and where to rent the cheapest 4x4. Wait, Sully, you're telling me that you actually did some research? Can't let you be the know-it-all every time, kid. That bridge there is what you would call rickety. Uh, this looks promising. Come on, come on, baby. Let's go, 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 go. Made it. Okay, kid. Just don't drop us. I just keep it slow. Keep it in the center. Yeah, there's a lot of backseat driving going. <laughs> ah! We're good. Everything's safe. Hey, watch the sides. Oh! Shit, that was close. Onward and upward. Ah, we're getting nowhere fast. You need traction here. Nathan, the rocks. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Sorry, bump. Let's see here. Hey, you see something? <laughs> oh, that was fun. All right, hang on, guys.
Slip and slide. <laughs> Tire tracks. Someone came up this way. Hey, look up there on the hill. Got a tower or something. Now we're talking. Victor, what were you arguing with the rental guy about? Oh, your brother insisted on getting a 4x4 with a winch. So you sprung for the winch, but you couldn't spring for the suspension. I got it. Hey, it's important. Going off-road. It might rain, might be muddy. Let me go through this whole goddamn thing and never use that winch. All right, hang on tight.
was a valiant effort. Let's go check out that tower. I'll come with. Got some big plans for this winch. This is pretty good shape for something several hundred years old. Yeah, They're definitely ruins from Avery's era. Huh. Bark stripped away. Something was wrapped around this tree. Do it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh. Oh, that looked like fun. Steeper than it looks. All right, ready? Give it a shot. Here we go. Steady. Steady. <laughs> See, Sully? Winch. Totally worth it. To clear the hill. It hasn't exactly paid for itself. Well, yeah. Small victories. Yeah, well, I'll celebrate the big ones. <laughs> Sam, look. That's Christopher Condon's sigil. He's uh, captain of the Fiery Dragon, operated out of Madagascar around Avery's time. So, maybe Avery recruits pirate captains to, what, be his lookouts? That don't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Well, maybe each captain was responsible for a tower, along with providing the men for it. Whatever the case, <clears throat> this certainly isn't our final stop on our tour. <clears throat> Feast your eyes, gentlemen. Wow. Spectacular. Just imagine. You've come here, a well-to-do pirate far away from your oppressive government. Ha <laughs> poor oppressed pirates. All they wanted to do was to murder and pillage in peace. No, no, they wanted to live as free men. Well, if you're gonna pick a place to run away from society, it's a lot worse than here. Taking forever to get to this volcano. Patience, Victor, patience. Do you know how those pirates got here? They had to start in England, sail to Brazil, then cut back across the Atlantic to South Africa. Sam. And they figured all that out with paper, charts, and by looking at the stars. Hey, you're describing sailing to a former squid. The point is, we got it pretty easy. Yeah, well, still taking a long time. Oh, 
How would you look at that? Oh shit! Stop! Stop! I see him. What do we got? Military types poking around. Nadine's guys? Yep. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Looks like they found an old colony outpost. But the wrong one, right? That's the good news. Yeah, that means it's bad news. The only route to the volcano is straight through them. Oh, shit. We do have the drop on them. What's the play here, Nathan? Just follow my lead. Okay, I think that's it. God damn it. Rafe and Nadine must have dozens of guys out here. I mean, they, they could just stumble onto the treasure through blind luck.
Looks like that bridge leads back to the trail. These pirates really need to work on their infrastructure. Now how do we get out of here? Sully. Pretty handy, right? I wasn't against getting the winch. I was against getting ripped off. <clears throat> Sully, just how well do you know Nadine? Why? I was thinking maybe you can contact her, convince her to call off her goons. <laughs> yeah, right. What if we promise her a bigger cut than Ray? No, that's not how she operates. More of a money up front kind of mercenary. The rape's got the advantage there. Look, shoreline. Yeah, they're definitely going all in, aren't they? And getting awful close to that volcano. He's thinking the same damn thing. They found the treasure already. Well, look, they're searching every inch of this place. If they'd found it already, they wouldn't be searching. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Hey, Sam. If you don't mind me asking, how'd you pass the time in prison? Uh, you know, reading, mostly. There was this one guard saw me as a charity case, I guess. He had to check out books for the library for me. So what'd you read? History, uh, especially anything related to Avery and other pirates. Just in case, you know. Sure. Well, you know, besides books, push-ups, 
Smoking, trying to stay out of fights between rival gangs. It's a whole lot of thinking. That's pretty much it. Sam, if you had a guard doing you favors, why didn't you use him to get word to us? Oh, I tried. I asked him to mail a letter to your P.O. box. I never... Uh, ah, hell. See that smoke? Ooh, shoreline, slow down. <laughs> Sorry! Oh, look who's back. Yep, as I was saying. I never got it. That would be because the warden saw it. I got busted up pretty bad and never saw that guard again. Jesus. I got my own back when the warden decided to room me with Alcazar. That didn't turn out how... Check this out. What if that's man-made or natural? Looks to me to be half and half. Anything in that pit? Check it out. Hey, maybe there's something down there. Thank <laughs> you. 
Sam, you were saying? Oh, that's right, I was. Uh, anyway, that didn't turn out how he expected. You know, come to think of it, I actually dealt with Alcazar a few decades ago, even before I met you two. Oh, shit. How are you still alive? Well, he wasn't quite the man he is today. Still working his way up the criminal ladder then. I sold his boss a few woodcut prints I'd smuggled out of Japan. He was into shoguns and such. Alcazar was the go-between. What was he like? Soft-spoken, but intense. Like you could explode at the slightest provocation. <laughs> well, he hasn't changed much then, has he? I got my money and got the hell out of there. So, fire walks into a boat. Oh, great. Uh, whoa! Looks like Shoreline found something. Go slow. You got it. Victor, you were saying? Right. Oh, great. Here we go. And he's got the steering wheel sticking out of his crotch. All right. The bartender goes, hey, man, what's with the wheel? And the pirate says back, ah, he's driving me nuts. <laughs> ah, I love that one. Don't make me leave you out here. Coming through.
Be right back. What you got? I'll hop out for a look. I'll just wait with Sam. Hey, where you suppose Nathan's going? We'll see. Get out of here. Oh boy, oh boy! Now I'm definitely awake. Hey, did you see that little beacon thing on the top of the hill back there? I did. We should check it out. Check it out, boys. What is it? Cool. Holy uh, shit, uh, you can probably see all of King's Bay from up here. Yeah. Hey, look. There's the city. And there's the river valley. Yeah. So, how are you doing? Yeah, still in one piece. I appreciate you coming along for the ride. And especially for negotiating with that rental guy. <laughs> no problem. Hell, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't enjoying myself. <laughs> Me too. Hey guys, there's another tower just over the hill. See any shoreline marks? Can't tell. <sighs> well, it would appear we got here first. Let's uh, check the place out and keep moving. Hey, what do you make of the drawbridge, Nathan? <clears throat> A little out of place. 
You don't put up a drawbridge unless you're trying to protect something. Such as pirate treasure? Maybe. No. No. Well, it would appear we got here first. Let's uh, check the place out and keep moving. Place. But you don't put up a drawbridge unless you're trying to protect something. Such as pirate treasure? Maybe. Hey, Nathan, come check this out. Uh, uh. The hell, the stairs are busted. There's no way up to the crank. I'll see if I can find something to stand on. Another sigil. So, do you recognize this one? I do, actually. Anne Bonnie. Hmm? Operated out of the Caribbean. Thought she died in jail. At least that's what the stories tell us. <laughs> right. Avery must have invited her, too. Be careful, kid. Guys, there's a massive tower just past the drawbridge. Biggest one yet. Bingo. Sam! Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, kid. You all right? I'm fine. You all right? 
Yeah. You got this? Mm-hmm. I see the floor. I'll bring the car closer. <laughs> Dude, just relax. I got this. I mean, there's only one crank, you know? Keep up the good work, kid. Get that bridge down. Let's try that again. There we go. Big tower on a volcano. Looks like the end's in sight, huh? spent all that money on towers, would it have killed him to put a guardrail up here? <laughs> Shit! Gonna take a look around. So just how much do you owe Alcazar? Uh, half. Half of what? Well, he only knows about the Gunsway heist. Which is worth 400 million. Right, but if Nathan's theory is correct, then there's a lot more treasure. Well, you should have told him it was 200,000. You never tell your partners how much a job is really worth. I'm not exactly expecting to be partners with him. Guys, we're gonna find it, pay off that lunatic, and still have plenty to spare. Trust me. All set. Here we go. Not get stuck here. Uh -oh.
got you. Come on, come on. You okay? It's been better. Get us out of this, kid. All right, hang on. Tell Mary, pull the grace over the quickly. Bless her. The emails will better bless her. The food they will. Easy, kid. Easy. Ah. Well, that was fun, right? Yeah, but I'm definitely sharing this one with my shrink. <laughs> Wait, you have a shrink? No, but I will after this. Come on, you guys are overreacting. Get the whole thing under control. Now, let's find our way in. Let's go claim our treasure, boys. Hmm. Can't get in that way. Sam, give me a hand with this. Yeah. Let's see what we got here. something back here. Sam? Yeah. Let's do this. <sighs> Damn. It's breaked over. All right, let's look around. Hey, careful with that thing, kid. Heads up! Oh, Jesus! I said heads up! He's got a lot riding on this. Don't 
don't see a treasure, though. Hey guys, coming. Come check this out. Saint Dismas, we meet again. So, what do we got? More sigils. There's our boy Avery. Thomas too. And that's, uh... Um... That's Adam Baldridge, that's uh, Joseph Farrow, and that's Richard Warren. Hmm. Pirate captains. All right, so maybe your pirate pool theory wasn't so ridiculous after all. <laughs> all right, so, uh... Let's see, what do you think the trick is here? Gotta push a button, pull something? Uh, maybe... Maybe one of the arms, or... Give it a shot. <coughs> Come on. Boys, whenever you're done fondling poor St. Dismas, I think you might want to come take a look at this. The trapezoid is obviously the volcano. The crown, that's King's Bay. We got ourselves a map, gentlemen. Hector, you're a goddamn genius. Hear that, Nate? Genius. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so... If we're here, this tower lines up with Avery's sigil. Okay, so then the other sigils must be the towers from Avery's time. Well, I mean, a treasure's got to be in one of them, right? Yeah, but which one? I count 12 towers. Hey, uh, Victor? Huh? You didn't start smoking cigarettes by any chance, did you? Looks like we're not the first ones here. Let's hope so. You okay? Yeah, yeah, fine. Sam? Yeah, over here. Hey, what are you doing? He's confirming a suspicion. Shit. Look at this. They figured out the towers, too. Locations, sigils, the works. So now what? Now what? Now we're screwed. Okay, because there's three of us, and there's God knows how many of them, and they have a head start? Yeah, but they don't know which tower to go to yet. Less great, Nathan, because neither do we. Guess we do. <laughs> Look, it's a little worn down. Right there, that's a match. Yeah, are you sure? Because, I mean, it could be this one, too. Crap. Yeah, but still, two beats the hell out of 12. All right. I'm gonna take this tower. You and Sully, you take that one. No, 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 no. No, Rafe's guys are all over these towers by now. Exactly. So if we want to have a chance to catch them, then we've got to split up. Uh, Sam, just hold up a second, will you? Nate, he's right. These towers are at opposite ends of King's Bay. Damn it. Uh, if you run into any of those shoreline clouds, you call us, okay? See you soon.
working on it. We gotta hurry. Yeah. All right, there's our tower. You really think all that treasure's gonna be just sitting in the middle of a goddamn market? Oh, yeah, that'd be crazy. But we've seen crazy before. That we have. It's a, it's a lemur. Come on, come say hi. That's all right. <laughs> so cute. Whoa! Hey! Hey, Sully! <laughs> Look who's back. Rabies, Nate. Hey, you know what? After this is over and done with, I'm gonna get a dog. Hey, we come out of this in one piece, I'll buy you the damn dog. Can I name it Victor? <laughs> Something smells good. Mm, that's right. It does smell good. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hey, here we go. Locked. I guess we're gonna have to sneak in. Discreetly. Implied by the use of the word sneak. So. window over there is broken. Hey, Sully. I think we can squeeze through here. That'll work. <laughs> Jesus. Long way down. <sighs> you okay back there? You keep your pace. <laughs> I'll keep mine. Yeah, well, at least you got a great view, right? Okay, let's see what we got. Edward England sigil, just like the map said. So what are we looking for? Good question. Yes. Yes, it is. Hmm. Now, what do you bet? Sam, 
Looks like we're at the right tower. Call us. They don't have the best coverage in this city. Well, no reason to wait. back. Check it out, Sully! The clock still works! Yeah, I noticed. And try not to get tangled in those gears up there. You bet. Okay. Yeah, all right. <laughs> okay, watch your fingers, Nate. Can I be nervous? No, good. Trust me. Okay, just gotta jump through that gear. Thank <laughs> you. 
Scorpio. That Avery was a Scorpio. Scorpio lock just released. Okay, moving on to the next one. <laughs> Thank you. 
areas. Always nice people. fun. Wow. 
This is a nice view. are lined up and get across. No, 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 no! There you are. I made it! This is gonna be loud! Sully, heads up! Sorry! Handle broke! I'm gonna have to ring it myself. Here we go. Okay, 
Go, 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 climb! Gotta get up! Jesus Christ. Hey, Sally. Oh, shit. At least I got the door open, though, huh? <laughs> That's one way to do it. You all right? I don't know yet. You? Jeff? Hi. Sure, why not? Let's see what's down here. Fingers crossed for piles of gold and jewels. Sam, finally, you okay? Just search my tower. I, I, I got nothing. Yeah? No. We're definitely in the right place. Make your way over here. Are you serious? Uh, okay, I'm on my way. He's coming. Good. Sully. Way ahead of you. Whoa. Hey, are those our boys? Yep. Henry Avery, Thomas too. Partners in crime. Founders. Founders of what? Worst scavenger hunt ever? <laughs> there are Avery and two sigils. These are a little different, though. Yeah, they got those star patterns on them. They turn, but which way are they supposed to go? Just a second. More pirate symbols. Adam Baldridge, Anne Bonnie, and uh, Christopher Condent. There's too many permutations. I say we see where that door leads. Still hoping for some treasure, yeah? You and me both. Hey, look, I was right. Baldridge, Bonnie, and Condit. Splendid. But why are they here in the first place? Well, let's find out. Well, that mustache. It's almost as impressive as yours. Yeah, it's all right. Hmm. Hmm. Nah. Nada. Nah. -uh. Hmm. Hmm. Nah. Nada. Hey, look at these stars. They're just like the ones on the Avery and Two sigils in the other room. Yeah, hey, you're right. Ah, uh, that's right. Content went by Billy. Here's another one of those star patterns. Yeah, but this one's different than that first one. Oh, yeah. Good catch. Thank you. See, I'm not just a pretty face. What do you think? Those Avery and Two sigils. The stars on those lined up, remember? I bet these line up, too. Hmm.
Who are these guys? That's... Um... They are, uh... You don't know, do you? Hey, there were a lot of pirates out there, you know? So we're stuck. No, we're not stuck. Would you... Give me your phone. What, you're gonna phone a friend? Close. Text a brother. There. You know, these are actually some nice paintings. If we don't find the treasure, maybe we could sell them to a museum. Let's find those star patterns. Okay, just saying. William Mays. American? Yeah, from Rhode Island. Just like Thomas, too. Hey, you still in the tower? Yeah, I just uh, climbed back down. What's with the picture you just sent? I'll fill you in later. For now, just tell me who's who. Well, the, the dolphins are Richard Warren. The trident is Joseph Farrell, and the two hands with the pearl is William Mays. All right, great. Just stay where there's good reception. I might need your help again. But Nathan, did you find the treasure? No, not yet. But I got a mechanism to solve here. I'll let you know. Books, globe. This Want guy looks like a scholar. Hey, Richard Want. He was the captain of the dolphin. Whew. Looks like he and Baldridge were in a best wig competition. Hey, Sully, give me a hand. You got it. Thanks. Is it straight? Who the hell cares? Well, I care. God, look at Farrell's face. Looks like he'd rather be anywhere else. <laughs>